Welcome back to another video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to use Save Wizard and Save Editor to make your own custom outfits inside of Grand Theft Auto Online. Alright so again you will need Save Wizard and Save Editor and you'll also need a USB drive. I'll explain it uh, a little bit more in the video later on but um, the first thing you want to do is you want to load it into story mode and then you want to create a game save okay so just pull up your phone and then create a game save okay so pull up your phone go to the quick save icon then just create a new save all right once you create a new save plug in your usb to your ps4 then what you want to do press your psn button go up to settings all right go down to application save data management click on it then go to inside of your save storage and then go to copy the usb drive and then click on a copy that has nothing on it okay so just make sure it says Franklin Lamar doesn't say profile or backup okay so once you've copied it you simply want to go over to your computer plug in your USB to your computer alright now again you will need save wizard and save editor okay on a computer alright um, save wizard is $60 okay the one that we're using is $60 okay to get the advanced mode right and then you also need save editor okay save editor is free so you don't need to pay for that but save wizard you will need to pay for it i'll leave a link in the description where you can buy save wizard okay it's 100 percent uh, legit there's no scams with it or anything all right but um once you've downloaded it and you've got save editor you will also need to download the modded um modded link okay it's like a modded a modded file okay that's just a file that you'll be able to put all of your modded outfits on and everything also leave a bird skip file in the description so if you guys know how to do the bird skip you guys can do it like that but all you want to do is uh start up save editor okay so just start a save editor on your computer and make sure you have that modded uh save that file because that's the file that we're going to be using okay so the download all right but then click on grant Theft auto 5 then go to open file and then you want to open that one file that I left in the description okay it's like SGTA something like that all right if it's not popping up here okay that means that you probably changed the name of the file or something happened with the file but that's fine if it doesn't appear there you simply just want to go into your files okay so you want to simply just go manually into your files all right so again if it doesn't pop up right there you just simply just want to go manually into the files and then you go to downloads and then get the file that you downloaded and then drag it out to your desktop and then exit out of that and now you simply want to pull it into your desktop okay once you've done that just simply click open so it's just to open the file up all right but yeah so that's how you get it in there if it's not popping up in there that's a problem that i used to have and i didn't know what to do but now uh once you do that you'll, you'll get this screen okay i personally don't make a backup but if you want to make a backup just to 100% make sure that you, this file saves, you can. I personally don't. I think it's just a waste of room, but some people do. All right. It's honestly just up to you. But once you've done that, it should load up. Okay. It's loading up like everything in the game. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this is where people are actually making modded cars too. So if you guys want a tutorial on how to make modded cars, you guys can do that. But if you go into garage, this is how you make modded cars. Okay. Um, I made a couple cars on here. As you can see, this is how you make a modded car, so you can put anything on the car, which is pretty cool. All right, but for the clothing, you simply just want to go down to the shirt icon right here, okay, and then click on it. All right, and then now it's gonna load all the components, okay. But once you've done that, you simply want to go over to um, main. Just go over to main, then click on the first bar. And then you simply want to set it to multiplayer male, okay? If you're using a male character, if you're using a female character, set it to multiplayer female. But if you're using a male character like me, just set it to multiplayer male. All right. Then for the second bar, put it on free mode one, okay? You have you have to put it on free mode one if you're using male or female. All right. Well, once you've done that, make sure this is set to beach ones, and then it should automatically be uh, default to boardwalker. But if it's not, just simply put boardwalker. All right. Now you want to go over to the mask and you want to have the penguin mask on every single outfit, okay? Make sure you have the penguin mask on every single outfit. And if your stuff is glitched out like this, since I put multiplayer male, as you can see it's doing the female components, 
it's fine. Or right, and if it's reversed, if you have a uh, female and then it's giving you male components, it's just it's just glitched out. All you want to do is just go over, exit out of this, and save the file. All right, and then just accept the save, and then go back in the T-shirt icon. And then as you can see now, when you go over to uh, your torso, as you can see, it's 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 the components that you need. Okay. So that's just if it's glitched out. If it's already good and everything, then you can just, you don't have to do that part. But if it's glitched out and you click male and it's giving you female, or if you click female and it's giving you male, just do that part, okay? But um, once you've done that, I usually set this to default. If you guys want to get invisible hands, you guys can put invisible hands. But for this example, I'm just going to set it to default, okay? Because there's not a lot to choose from here. It's just gloves, just regular standard gloves. There's like no racing gloves, no modern gloves in here. But um, you can merge gloves onto it. If you guys want to see a video on that, I can also show you guys that. Um, once you've done that, just go to legs, and I'm gonna make him the tan outfit. A lot of you guys are requesting how how do you make that tan outfit? How, how do you make that tan outfit? Um, um, I I did it what, like this. I did it in save editor, and save was it okay? So just simply put on the tan joggers. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the tan outfit that I have in my videos. Then go over to parachute, and then you simply want to scroll. Uh, it's pretty far, so just scroll pretty uh like a decent amount down, and then you simply want to put on the the green duffel bag, okay, the green open duffel bag. There's also the black one, if you, guys, if you guys want to put on the black one, the black one is also here. But I, for this outfit, I put on the, the green one, okay? So the green open duffel bag, all right? Then just go over to shoes, and then scroll down to the deadline shoes, all right? I put on the, like a certain deadline, it's like a tan deadline, all right? I just put on the tan deadline one, okay? There's also one that's gray, and these aren't like, these aren't named, they're just like, they're like a weird name, right? But once you've done that, simply go over to Torso 1 and then put it to Missing, okay? You can put it to uh, something that you want, I personally put it to Missing, just to, you know, make it more, make it look a lot, a lot better. But then go to Crew Logos, and this is how um, you put like those logos, alright? Oh no, wait, sorry, uh, Body Armor. So, um, just put on the tan body armor, okay, this tan body armor right here, alright, the CEO vest, okay, now you want to go to logos, alright, and then, uh, this is how people are, like, some people are asking how do I get that Dinka logo or these type of logos, this is how you put, uh, those logos, okay, so just put on this exact logo that I'm putting on, okay, it has the Dinka on it and everything, and then simply go to torso 2, and then you want to put a tank top, Okay. Now the reason why you want to put a tank top is because if you bring the outfit online, it'll automatically just put on like a random shirt for you, and it's just gonna look a lot ugly. So you cannot you cannot put this to like regular and make it invisible because then it'll just uh, give you like a random shirt when you go online. But um, just put like this black tank top. You can barely see it anyways. And then put this to none. Um, you can put it to whatever you want. Like if you're making a green outfit, you can put the space ranger helmet. Okay. And and there's also uh, the green full of helmets also on here. So the green helmet and the space ranger helmet is also on here. So if you guys want to put those on, like if you guys are making a green outfit, you can do that. But um, I for this outfit, I just put to none. All right, and then for glasses, you put it to none too. You can put, I mean, you, it's up to you. You can put whatever you want. But me personally, the outfit that I, I make, I put it to none because I put on a bunny mask and the tan bullet helmet. All right. But once you've done that, you can make more outfits if you guys want. So just go to shortest actor, and you guys can make more outfits. Okay, but. For the video purposes, I'm just gonna make one outfit. But once you've made all the outfits that you want, you simply just wanna back out and then go to save file. Okay, and then save it a couple times. I usually save it like three times because sometimes it just doesn't wanna save. All right. Sometimes like um, the data just gets corrupted or something goes wrong with the save and it just does not wanna save. But once you saved it a couple times, just exit out of everything. All right. And then you simply wanna plug in your USB. So just put in your USB. And once you've done that, start up Save Wizard, okay? Um, so yeah, just plug in USB and then start up Save Wizard, and then you want to click OK. Alright, and then once you've clicked OK, as you can see, this will pop up, okay? The Grand Theft Auto 5 file that we made, okay? But um, if you take out your USB, as you can see, all these games will pop up, okay? These are all the games that you can mod, but uh, just plug back in your USB, and then uh, that will pop back up, okay? Simply um, click on it, so double click the um, the Grand Theft Auto one and then if you don't have a profile then just right click the save that you, that you have in there and then 
put register profile but since i already registered mine just go to advanced mode okay so once you've registered it just go to advanced mode okay so click on advanced mode it's going to take a little bit around 30 seconds to a minute all right it's just loading up the save okay so it's loading up your store mode save Once that's loaded up, you simply want to go over to the right, okay, the top right icon, the import file icon, and then click the file that we just made, okay, and then click open, and you can see it'll be open. Now you simply want to go to apply, and then just click okay. If the apply button is like blank and, you know, it doesn't let you apply, just click circle on your keyboard, and then something will pop up, like an error message, just click okay, and then the apply button should be able, like, you should be able to click it, alright, but that's just in case you can't. Alright, and sometimes it just makes like this random file. I personally just don't delete it. If, if, you, if you want to keep it, that's up to you. I personally delete it. I think it's you know, a waste of space. But once you've done that, you can simply take out your USB. Alright, and then go back onto your PS4, go over to settings, go down to application, save data management. And this time you want to go over to the USB uh, storage device. And then go to copy to system storage, then go to Microsoft 5. Then click the save that we just made. And then now you want to load into sport mode, okay? So simply load into story mode, don't want line because the, uh, the story mode is where all the outfits are at. Alright, so I'll get back to you guys once I get into story mode. you guys spawn in as you can see i spawned in all weird and glitched out you guys won't probably spawn in like this because i use a different modded save so i'm gonna leave in the description uh, a different type of modded save it's still called the same it's just a little different but once you guys spawn in just open up your pause menu and then go to rockstar editor and then just start up direct mode all right but again i'll leave in the description all the stuff that you need okay so i'll, I'll leave in the description how to buy save wizard how to download it and also leave how to download save editor okay save editor is free um and also leave all the modded saves and if you guys didn't know how to do the bird skip file i'll leave it in the description okay with the, and with the bird skip file you don't need to do the kill the bird method so if you guys know how to do that you guys can do it like that or if you guys want a video on it i can also make a video on it once you've done that just simply go to your shortest actors as you can see there's a time outfit that we made all right with the christmas mask okay now you can do the bird uh, skip method or you can do the kill the bird method to bring this outfit online i'll leave that video if you guys don't know how, if you guys don't know how to do it i'll leave it in the description so i'll leave everything in the description all right so everything that you need to know about this video will be all linked in the description but yeah that's been the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully this video helped you out all right and again if you guys are having problems with the glitch if you guys are having problems with save wizard save editor any of the stuff like that definitely let me know in the comments okay don't don't be shy i'll help you guys out all right but yeah this has been the video uh thank you guys so much for watching please help me reach a thousand subscribers i love you guys so much um 
like the video if it helped you subscribe to my channel um, I'm also selling colored helmets so if you guys want any colored helmets let me know in the comments I, I was also thinking of changing my name to Sentinel it's a lot better than XX100 a lot more shorter and stuff like that so if you guys like the name Sentinel for my YouTube channel definitely let me know all right so if you like uh, I, I like the name if you guys like the name too I'll definitely change my name to that but um, yeah let, let, let me know the, uh, I'll leave my Instagram in the comments if you guys want the colored helmets but um, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.